Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. Um, first of all, yes, I cut all of my hair. My hair is completely gone. So I will get more in detail of that, of why I wanted to do that, but I chopped it all off yesterday. So this is my first day trying to like figure out how to do it. And I think I did a pretty good job. I think it goes well with me. I do feel like I look a little bit younger, but hey, it's all good. But actually I'm here outside of Agape. I will show you guys the sign in a little bit. Met Spa, they actually changed locations. And I'm here to get my lips retouched because I need them back to a little plumpiness before I go back to Texas because they are the only ones that I trust when it comes to my face and my lips. So I'm just gonna get another syringe of Volbella inserted in my lips. Um, I still, like if you guys can see, I still have um, some filler in. They're not like gone or anything like that, but I do want them a little fuller and then I don't know when I'm gonna come back to visit, so I wanna get them done. And especially during the holidays, right? So let's go and get these babies done. <laughs> We are back in the car, guys, so this is what they look like right now in the sun. I need to put on some foundation, but they are going to be a little swollen. Um, I should have put the camera so you could listen to her, what she was saying. So my, I noticed that my bottom lip was not, was still really plump, but my top lip had gone down. And so she was saying that this part had gone down some, so she had to apply more filler here, which hurt a little bit more than last time, but she had to apply more filler there. So I think I am going to swell today, which kind of sucks because I was hoping not to swell because um, I like to keep my lips kind of to a minimum. I don't like people to notice them. Um, I actually don't like to go out when I get them done, but uh, there's no other option. So, but I love them. I love them. I can't wait to put makeup on them and look great. But yeah, guys. So, on a pain level, it was probably like a five this time, just because like she said, I already have filler in, and so she's like tearing through and she's got to push through it. But I'll go more in detail um, about that. I'm gonna ask some questions on Instagram, so that way I can answer them on here because I know a lot of qu girls ask me questions about lip fillers all the time. So I'll answer those questions on here for you guys. Hey guys. So we are back home in Texas. I got back last in the middle of last week. I'm using straight. <laughs> we, I got back in the middle of last week. So, um, you guys know that I went to Georgia. The main reason was to spend time with some family because I knew I wasn't going to be able to go home for the holidays, but um, also because I wanted to touch up on my lips. So since I wanted to touch up on my lips, I wanted to go back to Agape Med Spa to Amanda to Amanda and Sydney because they are the best at what they do. I started going with them in the beginning of this year and I just wanted to keep going with the same people I felt comfortable with going and because I've just seen so many awful before and after pictures with other doctors and just like stories from actual girl, girls that I've actually met. Um, and so I just wanted to go back with the, my same doctor that I've been using or my same person that I've been using and not risk messing up my face because for me my face is like I, I think you should invest in your face but I think you should really be cautious about how you do it and who you go with so 
I went to Agape because I knew they'd take care of me and I am very, very happy with the results that came out. The only thing that I could say is that I did not feel as, I didn't feel like they got as big as I would have liked them to get and that is not their fault at all by any means. I think it was just the filler. I think the filler just did not fill me up as much as I wanted it to fill me up. So that's why I kind of want to get into details as far as like what filler I've gotten, what filler I recommend, how many times you need to get it done, the cost, does it hurt, all that stuff. So let's start from the beginning. So when I first started getting filler, it was back in March. Um, the first one that I got was Juvederm. And Juvederm is supposed to last anywhere from like three to five months, um, depending on your metabolism because it does tear, wear down, depending on how fast your body breaks the filler up, and it's all by your metabolism, how fast your metabol metabolism is. And when I first got it done, I was on a cut, I was doing a lot of cardio, I was exercising twice a day, so my metabolism was working a lot. So I broke it down very, very fast. I think my first filler, lasted about three months so i waited another three four months i got that one done in no that's why i didn't get it done in march i got it done in may and then i waited and got a, another syringe in august but i didn't get juvederm i got volbella so i got volbella volbella isn't so much as a volume as it's more of a shape it gives a little bit of volume but not as much as juvederm and amanda had recommended me get that one just because that one was just going to keep um it was very buildable so it wasn't going to look too heavy on my mouth so i got that and i was very very happy back in august with how my lips looked and to be honest it stayed for a very very long time um with juvederm juvederm i felt like it broke down very fast whereas novella I felt like it stayed a lot longer, but I do think it's because I was not exercising as much. So now, for to now, fast forward to now, which is we are in December. I got it done in December, so I waited August, September, October, November, December, four months. So I waited four months in between to get another syringe of Obella in my mouth. And um, it's, as you can see, it's like my lips are a little plump. That you can tell more from the side than you can from the front. So. From the side, you can tell that my lips are plump, um, but they're not overly exaggerated. Would I have liked a little bit more of plump plumpness? Yes, I think that I should go back to Volbella next time, just get a full syringe of Volbella. Um, but I'm going to wait, of course, another four or five months before I do that. But on average, I think some doctors say that you can hold off to six months. Like I said, I think it's how fast your body metabolizes it. And so I would recommend anywhere from anywhere from three to five months, you will probably need to go get them retouched if you do like the way they look and you want to keep that fullness. For me, I wanted fuller lips and my lips were not symmetrical. So one side was like more in than the other side. And that's what was happening again. That's why I think she the plumpness is not so much in my lips this time is because Amanda had to go in there and fix my cupid's bow right here and kind of lift it up a little bit more because she could tell it was falling back down to the natural way it was which was like nothing like a straight line and I, I didn't have that shape well I just flipped you guys off I didn't have that shape so she went in there and did that shape for me so I think most of the filler went in there this time. So I also think that's one of the reasons why my lips aren't as plump. But I'm very happy. As you can see, my lips are very natural looking. They're not too, too crazy. I don't look like I'm like this, like duck mouth or anything like that. I've seen horror pictures. So you just want to make sure you go with someone who is good at doing it. And like Amanda, right away she picked it up. She's like, I'm going to have to put filler here because your lip's going down. I don't want it. I need to put like... I need to make it more symmetrical. Like she knew exactly what she was gonna do just by looking at me. You know, it's not just oh hey, I want fuller lips. Just insert the filler wherever. Your your I guess you would call them a doctor or whatever. Your esthetician should know exactly where that filler should go. So anywhere from four to five months, you will have to keep going and. Um, applying filler and build filler up if that's something that you like. So Juvederm can range depending on where you go anywhere from like 600 to 900. Um, Volbella is a little bit cheaper. It's anywhere from like 400 to 600 and so they it is an expensive procedure but it is because of filler is more expensive so um, it's just depending on the filler that you get. And that price that I mentioned is poor 
is for every syringe that you go and get. So it's not like the total of all three. It's like if you're going to get Juvederm, you're going to pay anywhere from like 500 to 700. And then when you go again, you're going to pay another 500 to 700. So it's just depending on how many times you go and how much money that you spend. But it is per syringe. It's not just oh, this is gonna cover you all year long. So just make sure that you guys are aware of that. But yeah, so anywhere from three to four months, it is on the pricier side, um, but I absolutely love it. Um, when I go in, like you saw, they numb me, they do numb your lips um, with a cream, and then they'll go in there with the filler. Um, the first time that I got it done, it didn't really hurt as much. Um, actually didn't really hurt at all you could feel a little bit of the needle but not bad the second and this third time it hurt a lot more just because there's already scar tissue in my lip from where the filler has been in my lips so when she goes in there she has to kind of tear through that scar tissue so it does hurt a little bit it's not an excruciating pain it's more like a Mm, like are you almost done kind of an uncomfortable pain so but I will do it over and over again because I love how my lips look when I have filler so I'm very happy with the results those are the only questions that I really got about my filler the pain how much it costs how often and so yeah that's about all the questions that I got you guys I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys to get filler um, that's not what I'm here for but if you do have questions that's why I'm trying to answer them but if you want to get something like this done don't be afraid of what society thinks or what your family is gonna say like just if that's something that you want you're 100% sure of it get it done. I honestly, I've always been like that with my lips, with my breasts implants. I was always wanting to do something and I didn't care what anybody else thought. I just, just did it. So um, I just made sure that whatever I did, I did a lot of research. I felt comfortable with my doctors. If you are in the Georgia and Tennessee area, I 100% you recommend you guys going to Agape. Um, she does, Amanda does an excellent job with everything that she does and she just takes so good care of you. So I would definitely recommend you guys go in there, call and set up a consultation to just talk, you know, with them if you want to talk and just answer more of your questions so that you feel more comfortable. But yeah, just make sure that wherever you go, you feel comfortable. It's important for you as females to take care of yourself, okay? 10, 20, 30 years down the road, if you don't take care of yourself, no one's gonna take do it for you. Make sure that you guys always take care of yourselves and you do what you wanna do. Take care of your skin, take care of your body because honestly, because honestly for me, that's the most important thing that you can do to help yourself. So yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here, guys. I also wanna talk to you guys about my IUD um, process and what I was feeling and what I was going through these past few months because to be honest, I wasn't being as transparent with you guys as I would have liked, but that was just because I was in a really, really dark place. But I will talk to you guys about that in the next vlog because of that one is going to probably be very lengthy. So if you guys do have any questions about um, birth control like Kylina, go ahead and leave them down below um, and I will answer them on the next vlog. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, if you have any more questions regarding lip procedure, lip um, injections, please leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them. But yeah, guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, yeah, I cut my hair. I forgot to tell you guys that. I cut my hair super short. I'm still getting used to it. I love it, but I also miss my long hair. That's it. That's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.